Okay, I thought I'd read you another bit from the book Eddie Had a Dream. Um, this section comes from the uh, Championship High chapter, which is chapter 11, and it's just uh, the bit before the Bolton game. So um, it just gives you a description of um, how I uh, travelled down and uh, what I witnessed on the day. I remember driving down the A3 in the early evening on my way to the game with Bolton Wanderers that could just possibly take Bournemouth into a new era. The promised land, as the Premier League has been called, would bring its hazards as well as its tremendous wealth. But it was somewhere that this AC Bournemouth had been growing towards for a number of years and thousands of fans like me had their fingers crossed that it just might come true this on this night. The stakes were high but what are we all? What are we all fans for? Unless it is to live by the tension, by the tension and fear of pre-match excitement and the possibility of success or failure. Listening to the radio, I switched over to BBC Radio Southern. Steve Fletcher was about to be interviewed by the ever young and excited Kelly Summers, and I wasn't about to miss what Biggin had to say about the match against Bolton Wanderers. I pulled into the services just before heading to Winchester on the A272 road from Petersfield. Uh, there were a few people about in the car park and while I was dying to get a drink and use the facilities, Super Fletcher's voice boomed over the airways. He seemed tense, no, excited, or was he just nervous? He immediately made his hairs uh, on the back of my neck stand up. There was something comforting and yet exhilarating about hearing him speak. AC Bournemouth fans knew exactly how he felt. He was one one of us and petrified and yet extremely proud that the lads and, had managed to put the club in this tantalising position, just three points away from the date with history. Kelly Summers was loving the tension and the chance to get over to the fans what the whole thing meant to the club's ambassador, Steve Fletcher. His story was a, as big as anyone's at the club, having saved it from extinction with it, his most, his most famous goal against Grimsby Town back in 20, 25th of April 2009. While the stadium was still proud to bear his name on the North Stand, this was a new team and yet it mattered. Oh, it mattered. Steve was bristling with excitement and was even honest enough to say that he didn't know what to do with himself in the hours before the game. He had been able to see preparations for the game being played out before him. Jeff Mostyn, had been on into the ground and done his interviews and had gone back home before getting ready for the evening game. The TV cameras had been set up quickly as a tree-like platform made of scaffolding and planks of wood that had been carefully positioned between the main stand and the Steve Fletcher stand, having been left in place from the dramatic 3-0 win over Middlesbrough a week earlier. Now it was all about tonight's game, an evening match in front of a capacity crowd of 11,000 the calmest man of all, of course, was Eddie Howe.